plastic comedy with Hilary Herbert and my feet. We have a producer in the room. I won't say his name. <laughs> Josh. La oh. <laughs> I always but say. Which Josh is it? Which Josh is it? Who knows? Uh, so our we have been our our the episode that came out on Monday. So today's Thursday. A little early for us this week to record. The episode that came out on Monday, we've been abandoned. We were abandoned by the feet people, and we were abandoned by our uh, views benefactor. They they saw me in the thumbnail and they're like, "We're out." Or they saw Josh in the thumbnail and they were like, "We're out." <laughs> <laughs> they I think what happened is I I don't when there's no feet in it I don't hashtag it feet and then at the top of the episode at the very first thing we say is Josh is you know welcome back Josh and sorry to the feet people and views I looked up you need to watch for at least 30 seconds for a view to count so I think if the feet people watch five seconds in they go oh see ya yeah so the views are pretty low for the last episode. Even though the last episode, I think, was pretty fun after you woke up. And uh, although I did get the last episode, I was listing. And I mean, sad-eyed lady of the lowlands over here. The, of all the episodes to not pop off, does it have to be the one where I'm, you know, expressing a desire for something? Does that, th that's the one that we can't let get around a little bit? They didn't even get to, if that boyfriend is out there, he didn't even, <laughs> if this fantasy, I if this fantasy person exists and they watch the podcast, they didn't make it to that part. I, Although wouldn't the fantasy person have made it through anyway? Well, yes, I'm glad that you brought that up. So I, I in no way am expecting the fantasy person now that we're calling him great wonderful the fantasy person one to be the direct watcher i expected someone to go oh hey you know so and so i saw somebody that would be great for you something like that and then yes the fantasy person needs to be my biggest fan they need to uh, know you know watch from beginning to end maybe a couple times in case they missed something you want a sycophant See, I was I was actually talking to someone about this recently because like someone asked me the question like, could you date someone who doesn't think you're funny? And uh, I was like, yeah, I could I could date someone who doesn't think I'm funny. Wow. Because I think I'm funny. So what do I care? Here's what here's my ultimate thought. If they don't think I'm funny, why are they even with me? Because I got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing else. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, if I, I want to date someone who doesn't think I'm funny to find out what else I have to offer and be like, oh, I can put this on future dating profiles. Oh my God. I... I'm confident. See, I think, I think it's like when someone's like, no, you're I confident can't. you could just end the sentence there, Josh. Well, I'm just saying, I, I think someone who like, I couldn't date someone who doesn't respect my art is someone who's not confident enough in their art. Yeah, I mean, I get the joke. I understand. I get the I joke. I understand, like, why, but again, why would you be with me? Because that's all I... So, you came down on me really hard last episode for after I watched it back. I assumed I said all I want for how hard you came down on me. Turns out, I didn't say that. Not only did I not say all I want... I phrased it the way later in the episode you're like, well, we should at least phrase it like this, which is how I phrased it from the beginning. And you you <laughs> ripped. You were like, oh, this is something I can take off on. Yeah, but there was it, the, what, the, who, what do facts matter sub, when you're funny, right, the Josh? Subtext, the subtext was all I want. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you, you know why subtext. you read the subtext was all I want. The reason you read the subtext, which I, I'll give to you, I understand why it came off like that, is because what I was getting at was all I want is like, hold on, is a Mr. Right Now. So that's why you were jumping off on as if I was describing my next husband. Well, when I think all that makes I'm it... saying is like, 
I need some physical affection, it's like it hurts. I feel like feel like making knowing that it's Mr. Right now makes it even more like intense. All these things you're demanding of Mr. Mr. Right now Can needs you, to be all Mr. these things I'm demanding. Mr. What what was Mr. The list? Right now what needs was to the have long money list? And, I was the what was the long list? Know, you tell me what your list for Mr. Right now is. <laughs> Let's hear what Mr. Right Now needs to be. A Mr. Right Now needs to take me on a shopping spree. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Tens, like, of, right. tens of thousands of dollars will be spent. But then I'll fuck you after. Like, it's a, I think I need a, a fairly transactional Let me tell you how much Mrs. Relationship. Right Now. Let me tell you how much Mrs. Right Now costs. <laughs> Josh, we're in very di- different circumstances. Yeah, we yeah. Have ve- you understand the yes, playing field's yes, not yes, even, yes, right? Yes, yes, I'm surprised you even come to my house to record this. <laughs> Step foot in my own. <laughs> I slum it. That's what's so likable about me. That's what's so likable about me. I'm comfortable in many different environments, especially doctor's offices. So we went to, we had our big interview on Monday. Mm-hmm. We did it. And uh, what did you think about Dr. Calvert? Oh, he's a nice guy. Nice guy. Mm-hmm. One of the nicest you guys. Know, but it's always like, I, I have nothing. I have nothing bad to say about you him. Better not, because uh, <laughs> you are editing it out if I did. But no, I just always feel you know it's funny because it's like I, you know I grew up. My dad's a doctor, and I grew up. In, I always forget that I grew yeah. up in South Florida and like around all their friends, and I'm always like, and I, and and this is this is saying nothing about Doctor Calvert, but like I'll be with th- my dad and my parents and their friends. My dad, my parents are very good people, but like. <laughs> But like, you know, they're friends when I'm with them. Everyone seems great. You know, half of them would totally have been slave owners back in the day. Now, I'm not saying anything about Dr. Calvert. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. He's from New Jersey. When you're with people in their environment, everyone's great in their environment. Like, you know, Southern Southern hospitality. Okay, where they talk about put- Southern. I, I always talk about how it's like Republicans are way nicer in person than uh- <laughs> Republicans are really nice in person. So I'm gonna <laughs> So I'm gonna take a boob vacation. Okay. Update. Dr. Calvert, okay, so Dr. Calvert was supportive of the feet. It killed me when he was like, you could have had your feet in the interview. I mean, I wouldn't have on the first time. Here's what I want for next time. So the interview went great. I was, it was a lot for me because I was, oh my God, Josh, oh my God, wait. So we get there and you know how I was telling you they, you won't believe how closely they all work together? I didn't even realize until we walked into his office how closely they all work together. We walk in the office, and so I get my Botox down the hall, and which I didn't even realize I was walking by Dr. Calvert's office every time. I had no idea that's where he was. I mean, real rookie mistake. that the fir- I'm going to create a map and pin them all on the map so I have a better understanding because I don't even think I would have set up the interview in his office if I had known – that I was walking into the Shark Tank. I had no idea. Uh, it we, looks good, though. What? It looks good. No, that's office. not the point. The, these men that I've been, you know, analyzing for how many months now, I didn't, I, I expected to maybe run into them in the hallway, not in Dr. Calvert's office. So we walk in. You didn't realize this happened. So we walk in, and you sit down, and Stacy's sitting down, and I'm still, you know, smiling at the receptionist or whatever. Guy Smiley comes walking through some secret back hallway connecting their offices. And I think, and, and then I see the, a a thing on the, on the counter for another doctor that I've interacted with. Very nice guy. Uh, not in person. Uh, very nice guy in person. I'm sure I haven't interacted, whatever. So, Guy Smiley comes walking through and I'm smiling and he was smiling and we made eye contact and Guy Smiley's face goes blank. Guy Smiley stopped smiling. <laughs> and I was like... Are you going to cut his name and everything out of this now? It's not his real name. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a Muppet it's character. Like, this sounds like a lot of work right now. 
<laughs> Josh is just <laughs> tacking on how much more work he has to do. Okay, so uh, so Josh, is that enough confirmation for you that maybe the word's gotten around that I'm gossiping about these men's uh, either internet presence or ego or systematically destroying their career? Uh, the fact that that happened? Yeah, is that to you at all? A, I mean, that it was a dramatic... Well, I guess... Yeah. I didn't. I don't know if it was a dis. I don't know if it was a displease or just a shock or whatever. But his recognition was very quick. Well, you know, you're. It's like it's like it's like running into someone who wrote the bad Yelp review. <laughs> well, the thing with him is that this is why I don't know how he feels. What the what the what the energy was. All I've ever said about him was, you know, he's a nice guy. I interacted with him briefly on I didn't unfollow I unfollowed all the doctors except for Dr. Calvert the Persian wonder uh and this guy, guy in Smiley. Texas no guy smiley I did unfollow yeah. I unfollowed most of them but evenly equally and then I followed them on my not so secret I'm not trying to make it secret like burner account I wonder if psychologists could diagnose people just from like watching their social media. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, here's, the, here's why I don't. Mine is like I'm transparent about it. Like I, there are people that like go and do stuff like sneakily. I'm not doing anything sneakily. I'm just saying like we all do it to a certain extent. I'm not going to pretend I don't do I it. I'm a in detective, the chest, not yeah. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> so the so Guy Smiley, I've I've never said anything negative about. And Guy Smiley's won the award for hottest wife. And I've only spoke hottest wife. Yeah, hottest oh, wife. Damn. I've only spoke positively about him. Oh, I can't look up Guy Smiley's. The wife. The problem is Guy Smiley's <laughs> very <laughs> Guy Smiley's very good friends with Raffish Ralph, who I have said very not nice things about, which I'm going to stop doing because here's the thing with like I. This is why I'm going to go. This is the announcement was going to be the update was going to be I'm going to go with the feet thing. I'm going to do, we'll do, maybe I'll put it on like the Patreon or whatever and see, let me see how much money I can make with feet. Yeah. Why not? Right? Totally. The goal when people are like trying, like you want to be famous, right? Like you, that's something you want. I don't think about it like that. Yeah, I say that. So I've, I've said that. Those words have come out of my mouth. You want to be so uh, admired for your craft that happens to be fame, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I'm like, not trying to tart. Yeah, I'm not trying to. Well, no, it's, you know. It's not a leading question. It's, 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 it's definitely. Yes, it is. I would like to be. I would like to be well regarded for what I do. And what I do is the thing where being well regarded Typically, you need a lot of people typically means typically means a certain level of fame. Can you, is this unflattering? But you know, I do think about this. I do th no. I think you look good. Okay. Uh, I I do think about I do think about the fact that like like I did a poll. Uh, you saw the poll. You commented on it about whether you take a million followers. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a part of me that's like like the idea of just getting a million followers. While it sounds great, I kind of love this part of it all. Which is what? The struggle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, mean, I enjoy well, doing I, I this. I want the million the followers, but, but, but I want them But I want Well, you earn. know what happened? I was like, I was like, uh, it, it, I was like, oh, you know, one of the podcasts, like, I don't really, I, I don't, I don't know. My point is, is that the fame thing, it's, it's really a dark, dangerous. Totally place totally and I don't want to have anything to do with that and so anyone that I might be insulting that's adjacent to this dark dangerous place I'm gonna step back I was watching too many TikToks last night well, infamy about is some also, infamy is also far worse than uh, than fame yeah what's the definition of infamy I'll look up I'll look up the accurate definition so I don't sound like an idiot and become infamous as the guy who couldn't define infamy. So, oh, what was I going to say? Okay, so we have... Oh God. Well known for some bad quality or deed. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that's not so that famous, doesn't describe famous this for guy. the wrong. Everyone likes this guy. Yeah, yeah, but like you can be infamous, like like this is the person who who said mean things about this person. Everyone loves. <laughs> So the thing I would change, so the thing I want to change for whoever's going to be willing to do. So our interview was a very nice, straightforward, professional, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty typical interview, which isn't really how I want to do them. Like that's not, I want a much more casual feel. I know I had my like thoughts of chiming in, but I didn't have a mic. And and a much more (laughs) playful feel just for next time. But the great thing about Dr. Calvert is he's such a nice guy. He's so supportive. It's a great person to start off. And he has his podcast. And he has his podcast and all that. But I want a, a much more relaxed, you know, goofier kind of thing maybe my feet will be in frame for the next person i'd really like to uh interview um uh freddie prince jr because i've given him a hard time but i'm playful about it and he seems like a nice guy and even though i did accuse him of has he responded murder i've never reached i've never talked to him oh oh oh, oh. uh you give him a hard time behind his back <laughs> Who knows? Well, you know, who I, knows? I, Let me run into him when he's least expecting it and see how his face changes, val- and then we'll know. I validate my shit talking by saying I hope people are talking shit about me. Well, here's the thing about I, I mean, I like to. I grew up in a Republican household where the debating and the arguing was just a, that's I thought that was normal, and so when I play around democratic households oh is it when i play around i thought maybe they were nicer or something when i play around i think republicans are nicer okay when i play around uh i i like uh, i guess there's some maybe one person i've been mean to but you know i can playfully banter you know so i don't mean to like, I'd love to have someone on and then tell me what I'm wrong about. That would be very interesting. That would make for a great podcast. And then I would still win them over with my charm. It's just a win-win for me. Okay. Dr. Coolio, well, I said I wasn't going to. You know, Dr. Coolio, I am. I'm taking his award away. Dr. Coolio got... Uh, one uh, two people got the most authentic and dr coolio is not only getting his nickname taken away he's getting i mean i guess he can keep his i guess he's being authentic i don't the simp energy for me is define simp energy i'm curious your your take i've been some i've been of called these, a simp by people some of these like towards a woman well yeah, yeah people Online trolls called me a simp before. I said like I said a thing once, and I got a bunch of people calling me a simp. A simp for what did you say? God, I wish I could show my feet in a comfortable position. <laughs> oh, I think I said something about like how uh, how like somebody had said something about like I'll never like when a girl posts a thirst trap. I'm like, yeah, let's not encourage girls to post hot pics we like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and that's what they called you a simp for? So, yeah, people, I was like, yeah, yeah, No, yeah. men don't know what, men are so angry at women and women are so angry at men right now that no one knows what is going on and they're just, everything's wrong. They can't think for themselves. We all don't realize that's, that we're truly just angry at our moms. Yeah. <laughs> and ourselves. So to me, the uh, no, simp. I'm not angry at my mom. The simp surgeon energy is is this energy of like, people do it in the dance community too handing their their power over to another person by being so you know admiring and so you know everything is like you want to you want to be there for like any any acknowledgement of your of your existence by this person is you know they crave it and it just is, you know, for me, the thing about surgeons that's so fucking hot is that they're, they're these men that have built these careers. They work for themselves. They do very well. They create this beautiful art. And they 
it's they do it it's their thing and so like even the one even uh dr elderly who i'm really not a huge fan of uh dr geriatric he he has this really off-putting kind You're of like, aggressive energy but at least it's got like a a, a, a sack hanging on it like I, I just i don't like the ass kissing to someone who now we've deemed you're, better than us. You're kind of like the the Trump of the of the classes. You're like like Doctor Crooked Hillary, <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Sleepy Joe. <laughs> we don't like Doctor Sleepy Joe, do we? We don't like him. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my tits done. I'm gonna get my tits done. And uh, that was good, Josh. I was going to fire you, but I guess you can stay on the show. Uh, we're, I'm going to get my tits done. And um, is this, I'm very self-conscious of like a chubby lower tummy. Is this reading chubby? No, we can't even see it. Your okay. leg's blocking Okay, it. great. Uh, I'm going to get my tits done. And then take a, a uh, plastic surgery vacation. Then... I'm going to go into feet. Do you think, not that at this point. You're going to get your feet done? No. Then I'm going to go into, then I'm going to do the feet. I guess, no, I'll start feet. Then I'll get my tits done. Maybe I can pay for the tits with my feet. On, on Patreon. I guess. Why don't you just do OnlyFans? That's where the real feet money is. Here's the thing. <laughs> Who am I fucking? I'm a little concerned. I've been such a good girl. I've been such a good... Wait, why are you making a face like that? I don't know what a good girl means. Sexually. I'm, you know... Okay. I don't fuck around with anyone. I guess Should I've I been beca- a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work the same way. It doesn't work the same way. It doesn't work the same way. So... Unfortunately. Should I... I, you know, I might be doing it all wrong. Should I be slutting myself out? I mean, what am I, where's the, I want to be having a little fun. My preference is to be having fun with one man, but I I think I just need to go. I could go to a bar or like a a nice restaurant in Beverly Hills and look cute and, you know. Here's, here's the pressure. Here's the problem with the one guy thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. But it's a lot of pressure on the one. It's e- I think it's easier to be to be slutty than be yeah. not slutty. That's what I'm that's what I'm getting at. Like like I feel like more guys will be like, Yeah, I'll have sex with you if I'm if I'm not the only one than just just me. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of <laughs> that's right. But you see, I think I think again, you know, with the thing you er, the earlier slash last podcast stuff about like oh, all I want, you know, all I want right now. When you say all I want right now, I say I have this talk with my therapist a bunch about your seventy how, year old Jewish therapist, seventy year old Jewish therapist. Uh, but no, but like about how it's like sometimes I'm like, yeah, I just I just need a fuck buddy. But I, what I quickly realize, you say this. I don't. I, I don't, need a new therapist, Josh. I'm very concerned no, about this. I don't use those words. Okay, but but in in essence, to to speed it up so I don't translate it into the way I communicate with my 70 year old Jewish therapist. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. <laughs> Sometimes thank I'm you. like, I want to fuck, buddy, but like I quickly realize that, like, man, if it like like there's no such thing as that for me. There is one time, once we never see each other again, ever, or relationship. Because, like, at the point at which I want to hang out with you and see you more right. times and, like, your presence doesn't, like, like uh, <laughs> right. can't run away soon enough, I'm <laughs> like, well, I might as well see where this goes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, my concern is, or not, I just, it's just where I'm at, I guess, uh, is now I have, I need, I mean, it is the, the, like it makes me become a sure thing. That's what I'm worried about. Is like if there's a man that I, if I were gonna go like have a drink at a bar with a man that I knew I was attracted to, put your hands all over me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm cooked. I'm done. I'm like ready. So that's not a great way to 
most of the time psychologically, although for my type, who I am, it's never mattered. But for, for most women, if you sleep with a guy right away. I'm at a bar with you and I'm attracted to you and you've spent $10,000 on me on a shopping spree. Put your hands all over me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Let me be very clear. This is, Josh, you got to think about it too. Like this doesn't just, I've, I get my hair done. I'll get my nails done most of the time. I get my lashes done. I've had plastic surgery. Yeah, so you get your boobs I done. I train. Get- <laughs> I get my boobs. I'm going to get my boobs done. You get your vagina I, done. I, I, my vag- <laughs> I have a fucking Ferrari between my legs. The, I mean, it, it. That doesn't get given away. There will absolutely be a transactional relationship. But also and there should be. Who wants and it. there should or if the wind blows in the right direction. You know, it could go either way. That's what I'm concerned about. That's what I'm concerned about. I think this is what this is what we're gonna do. This condominium is two million dollars, but we are also accepting squatters. <laughs> <laughs> that work if they you know have the right vibe (laughs) so i think this is what we need to do but here's the other thing that gets me is to me my style of femininity is that yeah the man provides certain things and if I get into feet and I'm making hundreds of thousand dollars a year on my feet, as is apparently possible, not enough money to support my lifestyle at the moment, but would help. If the feet money could just pay for me. <laughs> that would be so depressing to me. What? If, it, if, it, if I was just breaking even on the podcast <laughs> Feet, less, less I would be so more, more depressing than operating at a loss. Yeah, oh. that's how my brain. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather be operating at a loss or, or a win. Yeah, I'm an all or nothing person. So I'm so I'm literally filming someone special and using the money to pay for somebody else's special. Yeah. <laughs> so that if I'm so now I've now what do I need? from a man it starts to become like i see these i know the women and it's really it's it seems like a very beautiful life and maybe it's the way to go these women that are these entrepreneurial you know taking themselves on trips and doing the whole thing sometimes to me is it's it's like uh it's just it's a little masculinized that they're they're doing everything and it's not my talk about being a simp like yeah i like to be a little bit of like a like with a man like i want to need that person i want to like not need you know need on some level i want to admire them I want to, I want them, I want, for me to be truly attracted to someone, I need to see that person as more successful than me, you know, better able to take care of things in life, like that, yeah, I am lesser in certain aspects of life, that's attractive to me. And so if I'm now becoming this person that's this divorcee who is super independent and doing all this stuff is like, then the only thing I need from a man is the emotional support, which is really hard to (laughs) to find appropriate, like, ego managed men you know what I'm saying it, then it's like the only thing then I need just like the friend then I need the friend I mean it just kind of makes my dick limp so I'm not sure it's tricky it's tricky out there Josh and I walk through Beverly Hills it's the wildest thing so I went I don't know how long we're at uh, first 30, episode, thirty-two I mean, minutes. Thirty-two. So I, for the our this happened to me every time I had something 
important in the last couple of months, they closed our road. And so they closed our road. They told us like two days before, and I had already scheduled the interview and I had scheduled you guys and the whole thing. And I was like, I'm not, this is too stressful. Like there was a chance I'd be able to get in and out of my road, but I didn't know, you know, and I was like, I'm not doing this. So I was like, oh, a little staycation. I'm going to take a little staycation in Beverly Hills. And so I booked a hotel and, and then I went to pack and I, I figured I had to get an outfit, but, uh, I wasn't sure because I have some nice clothes and I went to try on my nice clothes and they're all a size too small in a great way. Like I was telling the salespeople that and they're like, oh, and they're like, if bodies change. And I'm like, no, yeah, in a great way. So I was like, oh, I need new clothes. So I'm going around Beverly Hills and Josh, the amount of, you think in Beverly Hills, like the amount of attention I get is a lot. And I had, you know, I, I, there's something about putting my baseball hat on that it just drives men wild. And I'm walking around doing my thing and I'm seeing all these men like, you know, receptive. And it's just uh, interesting. It's just interesting. So I guess I could just take myself out to dinner at any restaurant in Beverly Hills and all these guys want to fuck me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. That does seem interesting. Wish my life was more interesting. <laughs> it's uh, it's nice. It gets you through the day. It's an ego boost. But I'm kissing my pillow at night. So, you know, it's not. Whereas. I don't know. Other people have different life experiences. I've been pretty lonely my whole life. So it's a, it's an interesting trade-off. My therapist says it's the number one ep epidemic right now is loneliness. Is loneliness? Yeah, because people, other people, I've been lonely my whole life. It's different. So you're good at it. Yeah. I enjoy my own company, but it's, it, there, there has developed a, there's like a, a deep, well, you know, it's like I if it's like if someone were to like give you a hug and they couldn't squeeze hard enough for it to be satisfying. That's how I feel at night alone. Like I can't even like hold myself enough. Like it's there's something that's can't I can't feel by myself. Which I need a dick for. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I know what that thing is that you can't fill. <laughs> <laughs> I could figure it out probably. Uh, driving me crazy. But the other thing, I can't be a slut. That's why. And now I remember the real reason why. It's not like a moral. It's a preference. It's a you know personal preference. But I don't do the disease thing. Yeah, yeah that stuff's scary, right? I don't mess around with that. If 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 you don't want, I you don't will, want that garbage dick. that would hurt terribly. I don't want to experience but the, but that in my life. Anxiety. But the if you risked my sexual health, I would ruin your life. Yeah, what if they, I would ruin? You want to see a crazy bitch? What if they cheat? don't date me if you don't think that you but can if, stay uh, faithful? Because <laughs> I would find out. I absolutely would find out what if and I time, would destroy you. I just want to make it very clear. But what if they, every time they cheat, they go and they get a full STD <laughs> screening? It's, you can't catch it like that. That's why I say, like, people are like, oh, like, I got tested, like, you got tested the next day? I don't know, what is the timeline on that? I don't think sh things show up right away. When people tell me about their, oh, yeah, yeah, I got tested, I'm like, that doesn't cover it. That doesn't cover it. Also, like, or like the people like, I used a condom. <laughs> We've all had sex. I remember. When, the, when we're bumping, you know, it's, there's, there's For the sure. condoms definitely, not definitely. saving I've you never, from I've herpes. never had sex not been a, 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 a psychological mess. Misery, after. yeah. But uh, Misery. I, I suffer from lots of <laughs> psychological disorders. However, there was this one time where I hadn't in a while and I was at the doctor's getting my physical and the nurse was in there and was like, do you want to get an STD check? And I was like, I don't 
I don't think I need to. They're like, are you sure? And I was like, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'm good this year. Pretty sure on that one. If you uh, found something, that would be <laughs> I've I there's been a crime committed. <laughs> Do you know how neurotic I get? But here's the other thing that's wrong with me. Or another thing. I should say. Another thing. Another. <laughs> I'm not cut out to date like the way people date. Which is Someone, which is what? How do they do it? People do ask it you out. I you do know. it. You date. Yeah, but I've been, People I've been ask, told that every relationship I've ever been in has been unhealthy. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you start it, I think, in a pretty normal way. No, they're right? usually they're usually pretty way too intense early oh, on. Okay. What I know is it's like challenging. Well, no, my thing is this. Is I have a... I have a the the confidence goes out the window when I really like someone. Yeah, that thing that's true for most people. So mine feels maybe this is the point where I'll finally get a therapist. Mine feels again, you act like I, I've had more therapists than you. But yeah, but I've had mine more consistently for longer. You don't know that's true. I don't know that, but I think it. <laughs> <laughs> I mine feels insurmountable. In that I'm more comfortable avoiding, like if I had another crush and it was, and I wanted to like hang out with that person, I'm more comfortable avoiding that than putting myself in a position to like be around them. I always, you know, of course, of course you like when, when you feel the stakes of actually wanting something, I'm like, it's so much easier. I always say it's so much easier for me to produce someone else's movie than produce my own. Cause the guy, you know, you're talking to someone's like, oh, I really want to film in this location. I'm like, all right. Yeah, hey, yeah, can we, yeah, can we yeah, film yeah, there? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, we yeah. can do it. Right. Yeah, we can, we can go film the thing there. But then when it's my film, like I really want to film this. All right. I should call yeah. the guy. And then I'm talking to him like, hi, I, uh, I'm like, oh, this guy's freaking me out. I'm right, the yeah, you can't, same uh, you way. Can't do it. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm the same way. But that's but that's that's everyone. That's like so it's like it's like you you know when you're like oh the, I'm texting with this girl your friend's like ah oh, let me take your phone and I'll do it for you yeah yeah they don't feel there's it. no risk of loss for them yeah. it's a hundred percent your risk of loss right uh, so what I need because <laughs> I think I, all I need all I need <laughs> but I did very early on in the podcast what are we this is episode forty three. I talked about working on saying what I need. So this is, so now All I 40 need. weeks later. All I need. All I need. <laughs> I need to be set up. Ah. I need to not see it coming. I think that's what I need. Yeah, honey trap. Yes. Yeah. It, because. We don't ever have friends trying to set you up? No. No, my friends are either. My friends are like no, no, keep everyone away from Hillary. <laughs> my friends are all. My friends are all married. Yeah, but the, don't marry people. No, like like we gotta set up uh, Hillary. So it stops they, being no, weird that she comes up. to all the they, things. No, alone. they fuck up. That's what that's <laughs> it is. No, but that's what happens. They, I don't, I won't go. Yeah, I won't go. They make the mistake of of letting me in on it a little bit. And then I won't. Well, just go. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not go. going to meet. No, I'm not going to meet. I need to be set up with someone I already know I'm attracted to. Don't set me up with Dr. Rand. Oh, I said doc- edit. <laughs> edit. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a doctor. Don't, edit. Set, don't set me up with this this person who who fits all the things I just recently said. All I so want. hard for me. It's, it's so don't. hard. <laughs> I, I sit, you, you know, it's like, there's like this old, don't, don't knock my TV over. There's this old, uh, there's this old Jewish joke that my parent, my dad loves to tell. He's like, uh, this guy is climbing a mountain and he falls and like, oh, he gets caught on a shirt on a ledge. And he's like the most religious man in, uh, in all the town. He's praying, dear God, save me, save me. And these, and the helicopter comes, like they throw him a ladder, like grab the ladder. He's like, no, no, my Lord will save me. <laughs> helicopter flies away. He's like, dear Lord, please save me. These two hikers come like, give us your hand. We'll take you. Like, no, no, go away. My Lord will save me. He's like, later on, some people come with, he's like, dear God, please save me. These people come with the net. And he's like, go away. My Lord, eventually he falls and he dies. He gets to heaven. He's like, God, 
what the hell, man? I was like, your most loyal religious. Well, we person. already know where the end of yeah, this yeah, is. Yeah. Going. He's like, what are you talking? About? I sent you a helicopter. I sent you two people. Yeah, yeah, I sent yeah, you. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah, turned yeah, them yeah, all yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. So you're like, all I want is this thing, and then and then your friends send you bloppity bloppity, and you're no. like, no, and you're like, no, 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 that, no, 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 no. You no. took that. I wasn't sure. I thought you were gonna swing that in a different direction. No, they're not set. They're setting me up with with doofus head. Who who Maybe has if you it? You got to know doofus head. No. No, I think I. Here's the thing. I the here's the thing. here's the thing. <laughs> the as much as the the doctor thing is like they're really fucking hot, and I I think it would be now that I like see it's just there's and this so, one's not who the one they're trying to set you up with no who my friends aren't trying to set me up with a doctor oh. you misunderstood oh. no they're trying to set me up with joe schmo who you know probably doesn't work for himself and it, it, it and 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 like would thank his luck is that is i'm out of the whoever they're trying to set me up with i'm out of their league they women don't understand women because of their egos they can't understand that i operate on a different playing field Hillary than that. refuses to settle. Fine. However no, you want to, sure. That's yeah. fine. However you want to look at She's it. She's looking for someone to settle for her. We, we're not going through this again. <laughs> we're not going through this again. No, yeah, yeah. So. That's me. I'm looking for that. But you know what it would, you know, and, and Dr. Calvert mentioned this too in the, and, but you know what? It's not even as good. Like the surgeons, because they have to deal with so many people they they have a lot of them have warm sometimes empathetic personalities where i'm also very attracted to the wall street guys that's what i grew up with was the wall street guys and you know men in suits doing you know doing deals is hot but the thing with them is that they're psychopaths they're a different type of psychopath and they're all on drugs and they're um not they're not dorks i like dorks i never use that word to put someone down it's like i'm a dork it's it's like someone that you know what you like and you are who you are that's a dork it's authentic where these wall street guys are authentically assholes yeah uh, they're just a little scary it's, wait so you you you're attracted to it but you don't sure. wanna, you don't want to like date it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. I think that again runs par for the course of people's psychology. Yeah. <laughs> but then I'm like Again, I, that's like the thing where it's like earlier we're saying like, yeah, if you're trying to slut it up, a bunch of people will smash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, but yeah. that I, I that then it even get like exactly. I would, that's it not what you want. dangerous. Like, yeah. You know. If somebody was like, Hey Josh, you wanna fuck? I'm more likely to make sure and not like, Hey Josh, you wanna take me out and get to know me and <laughs> learn about my fears and hopes? No. <laughs> no, it's disgusting. <laughs> and I've, got, then, I've got enough of worrying about my own of oh those. God, yeah, you're really you got, that's something. Do you bring that up with your therapist? Because you could work on that, Josh. All the time. You could All work on work looking on. at life from someone else's perspective. I am very life. empathetic. Okay. I know so that these I'm people saying... want me to get to know them. I can empathize <laughs> with, <laughs> with I, mean. just like I desire for them to only want to get to know me. I understand could I, could they're I, wanting me to know them. Could I get into, could I get into like a heart surgeon kind of, like a, a a different type of surgeon? Oh, something crazy. My dad's heart surgeon just died at like 40. <laughs> because he was so fucking stressed. That's maybe, the maybe. that's not appealing to me. I don't want to hear the. I don't want to hear the. Oh, yeah, the kid got into a car accident. And I had to replace his heart with another. Person. One time, yeah. Oh, I saved thirty yeah. lives. Oh. I'm such a good person. Yeah, well, I've been home all day with the kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was at I was in this... fourteen straight hours of surgery. I'm covered in someone else's blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Gross. Yeah, it's too much. It's all right, too much. It's not all about you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Stop crying, Dan. God. No, I just want, yeah, like someone to come home after a long day of surgery. Like all horny from looking at a naked body all day. Ugh, so good. 
I was at a bar in New York. You know. Feet. 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 